Welcome to Robo IAM Education Wing. And today's topic is Structure of Robotic Systems. This video covers the essential components integrated in every robots. Wonder what would be those components? Well, they are manipulator, controller, sensor, actuator, power supply and end effector. First, let's have a look at manipulator. Just like the human arm, the robot consists of what is called a manipulator which has multiple joints and linkages that allow it to manipulate objects in the real world, such as pick and place, assemble, and modify. Second important component is controller, the control system of a robot is the part of the robot that governs how it behaves. A controller is a component of a robot that coordinates all mechanical system motion. It also gets input from the surroundings via various sensors and responds appropriately. A microprocessor or microcontroller attached to the input, output and monitoring device is at the heart of the robot's controller, the robot is able to carry out the assigned tasks. Sensors is the next device, sensors provide information about the task environment in real time. Typically, industrial robots are equipped with a tactile sensor that imitate the mechanical properties of human fingerprint touch receptors, as well as a vision sensor for computing depth in the surroundings. Sensors are what allow a robot to collect data about its environment. This data can be utilized to direct the robot's actions. A robot can use cameras to create a visual representation of its environment. This enables the robot to judge environmental features such as shape and color that can only be detected by vision, as well as assist in determining other important qualities such as object size and distance. Other types of sensors are light detection and ranging, LIDAR, sensors use lasers to construct three-dimensional maps of their surroundings as they navigate through the world. Finally, some specialized sensors such as accelerometers and magnetometers that allow the robot to sense its movement with respect to the Earth's gravity and magnetic field. The next device is actuators, actuators are the energy conversion device used inside a robot its primary role is to transform energy into movement. Normally from joints to end effectors, motors can be employed as actuators for moving sections of a robot. Pneumatics, hydraulics, electrical are the majorly used source of actuation. In robots specifically motors are used for providing rotational movement. Power supply is the fifth one, batteries, hydraulic, solar, or pneumatic power sources provide the robot with its working power. Depending on the task to be performed, industrial robots are powered by single-phase or three-phase supply voltage. And finally end effectors, end effectors are the tools at the end of robotic arms that directly interact with objects in the world. The effectors are the parts of the robot that actually do the work. Effectors can be any sort of tool that you can mount on your robot and control with the robot's computer. Most of the time, the effectors are specific to the tasks that you want your robot to do. A and quote, gripper and quote, at the end of a robotic arm is a common end effector. Specialized effectors, such as tools for cutting in surgery and suturing incisions, spraying, fixing cameras for inspection, drilling etc. I hope you now have a better understanding of the various components of robotics. To learn more about robotics technology, subscribe our channel and stay tuned for further updates. Until it's goodbye for you all.